Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the Spring Boot J unit testing. So uh, here we'll talk about the, some basics about the Spring Boot J unit testing. And next uh, few very video series, we are going to cover some uh, practical example. So let's go through the slide. So testing a Spring application right so when we talk about the writing JMU test case in a spring boot then one of the major advantage of dependency injection is that it should make your code easier to unit test uh, you can mock object instead of real dependencies so instead of creating a, a object using a new operator you can mock your object uh, I mean all dependent uh, objects you can mock easily uh, often you need to move beyond unit testing and start integration testing like there your application uh, context uh, may be involved uh, it's useful to be able to perform integration testing without requiring deploy deployment of your application or needing to connect to other infrastructure you can declare a dependency directly to uh, your pom.xml with specifying arc.spring framework as a group id and you can specify uh, artifact id as a spring test or you can use uh, a spring boot starter test uh, basically a starter to pull uh, pull all the dependency transitively so that's the basic things uh, we wanted to talk in this slide now uh, a spring boot testing a Spring Boot provides a number of utilities and annotations to help you testing your application. Uh, test, sup say test support is provided by two modules. A Spring Boot test contains core items and a Spring Boot test auto configure supports uh, auto configuration for tests. Uh, developers will just use the a Spring Boot starter test starter which imports both a spring boot test modules as well as j unit uh, assert j hamcrest uh, and a number of other useful libraries uh, which we can see on this slide if you use a spring boot a starter test uh, test a starter you will find following provided libraries like uh, when you use a spring boot a starter test then uh, this library automatically will be added in your class path like j unit that is uh, for a, st a standard for the unit testing uh, java application uh, you'll get also jars to be added for a spring test as and a spring boot test and that is the uh, utilize 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 that provides the uh, utilities and integration test support for a spring boot application uh, now next jar that will be added that is a search j uh, that is a fluent assertion library so when you write a genuine test cases then you need to check some certain conditions right using assertions so assert j provides a lot of uh, assertions library assertion api now when we talk about the hem crest a library for major objects right so you would like to define different kind of predicates right uh, so that uh, ham crest support in that so that provides you a lot of uh, regular expression kind of uh, api now when we talk about the mokito so uh, it's a java mocking framework right so mokito also will be added in your class path automatically when you add a spring boot a starter test uh, in your pom.xml now next thing uh, that that we talk about the json assert and assertion library for json right so when you want to compare your java objects with uh, some existing json uh, uh, file then uh, of course json assert uh, helps in in that and again f uh, last but not the least we have a json path so that basically helps you to uh, use x path for the json now that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial so here is the eclipse uh, so we had talked about a lot of uh, dependency what i told uh, when you add uh, in pom.xml when you add this starter dependency uh, this is starter dependency uh, which is having the group id as arc.spring framework.boot 
an artifact ID you are going to specify a Spring Boot Starter Test and a scope you will have to specify of course test. Then, uh, then uh, Maven is going to download a lot of dependency and those dependency uh, are going to add in your class path and that will help uh, you to uh, uh, write some kind of JUnit test cases in a Spring Boot application. So let's first let's search for the JUnit right. So as I say JUnit will be added right. So if you come down then you can see JUnit 4 is getting added right. So uh, this is a standard for unit testing in Java application. Uh, again you will search for the uh, Spring Test and uh, Spring Boot Test. So those kind of a library also you can see a uh, Spring Boot Test, a uh, Spring Boot Test Auto Configure. So these are the library uh, gets all added automatically. If you search for the assert j then you will get it as well uh, you can see assert j core library is getting added automatically then let's search for the uh, hamcrest now if you you can see hamcrest library there are two library for hamcrest hamcrest core and hamcrest library that is getting added basically and this helps this library helps you to write the different kind of mature objects now we talk about the moquito and that is the one of the famous uh, framework to write uh, genuine test cases so here you can see Mokito is also getting added now we talked about the JSON assert so when you search JSON assert then you can see JSON assert is getting added automatically and finally uh, we had talked in the slide about the JSON path right so if you search, search for the JSON path somewhere uh, JSON path Now here you can see so JSON path is also getting added. So in this video we have talked about the some basics about the Spring Boot JNH testing. Next video uh, video onwards we are going to cover some practical example as well. So thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.